Ray Dynamic Texture makes the set meta effect work like it should. In order to texture with the set meta effect, you need to activate it first. So you open up this triangle and then click on activate set met. And now set met will become available as a texture option. And it works pretty similar to the alpha mat. You just click on an object you want to texture and then select what texture you want. And then that texture will show up where the object is. Now you can also hold shift while you texture and then that will make sure that the texture is parented to the object. Compared to the alpha mat, only one layer is needed to texture because the set mat doesn't require a matte layer. Now usually, when you try to apply a set mat effect, you can do some really unexpected things, like stretching the mat, or most times the texture simply doesn't show up in the right place. Ray Dynamic Texture fixes all these problems, and it applies the correct settings based on your layer to make sure that the texture shows up in the right place. Now before you texture with the set mat effect, you need to know the following three things. And the first one is that if you texture in a composition with the set mat effect like this, and then you decide to pre-compose all your layers into a new composition, everything still works fine until you collapse the transformation of the composition, because that will break it. So make sure you have enough resolution in this composition if you want to scale it up later. Right, the second thing you need to know is that masks are not always transferred. So when I apply a mask to this square to make it a circle and then texture it, you can see that the mask will be ignored by the texture. Now you could potentially copy the mask from the solid to the texture and that will work until you move the object and that will make it break. And that's because the mask is stuck to the texture. Now the third thing you need to know is that your textures need to be in a composition. Because if I texture this with a normal JPEG file, I'll get an error that I need to pre-compose that texture first. So all I have to do is go into the texture palette and pre-comp this texture and then refresh the script, go back to my working comp and now I can texture with this. All right, now that you know all these rules, let's get into some of the benefits of using the set mat effect. I have two compositions here that give me the exact same graphic result. One composition is textured using track mats and the other composition is textured using the set mat effect. Now, if you look closely, you can see that the comp that's textured with the set mat effect is a lot more clear than the one textured with the track mats, mainly because you only need eight additional texture layers when you texture eight layers using the set mat, and about 16 additional layers when you use the track mats. The track mats also add these icons that push the layer name out of alignment, making it harder to understand what layer this texture belongs to. Another benefit that comes with the set mat is that if you're working on this project, you can easily turn off the textures and turn them back on. Versus the track mats, you can easily turn off all the textures, but it's harder to turn them back on because now you're also turning on the mats that need to stay invisible. Another benefit that comes with the set mat effect is that if I texture something with the set mat, I can always use the track mat to cut that object out one more time. So now this texture is being cut out by the circle and also being cut out by the square. Another thing that's really easy to do is quickly duplicate this texture, swap it out for a different one holding option, and then that way I can just add a bunch of textures to this object really quickly without having too much layers. Texturing with the set mat just gives you a lot of flexibility. So sometimes it works better to work with the set mat and sometimes it works better with the alpha mat. So it really depends on the situation, which one is going to be best for you. All right, I hope that expanded your options as far as using different methods to texture. If you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with the upcoming videos. Take care.